Hey everybody, my name's Klaus, but you should know this by now. Anyway, um, I'm here with... Uh, Minty Heart. And we are going to be doing something a little differently for my channel. Basically what we're going to be doing is, um, we're going to be reading this lovely, lovely creepy pasta or troll pasta, technically what it is. Um, what a troll pasta basically is, from the way I see it, is it's a creepy pasta that kind of fails to be creepy. Uh, to me, right? um... Uh, to me, I think troll pasta is like the priority version of the creepy pastas, because like, um, we're not gonna rant on this. It's not like rant video. Uh, creepy pasta fandom tends to be um pretty great. Let's destroy us that. Go ahead. Except for for this video, we're just here to um read from the creepy pasta and kind of react to it, and we're gonna comment on it. But th this is one of those creepy pastas that is just so. It's so bad, it almost takes an art to write a troll pasta. Yeah, this is, this is, this definitely takes a cake as a troll pasta. Alright, now, with all that out of the way, let's kick back and enjoy Bob the EXE, the troll pasta we'll be reading today. <clears throat> I'm a Lego maniac, I can't help it. I've been building with these Danish, Danish plastic blocks for as long as I can remember. I collect all sorts of Lego sets, everything from the classic Legoland to space to Legoland space to the Lego movie. I got complete sets of 16 for every set of minifigures, plus two gold, gold minifigures that I ordered off eBay for $9,999. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, this guy's nuts. Yep. Obsessed. My basement is occupied with tables and shelves adorned with models to the point where it's impossible to walk without bumping into something. I subscribe to Brick Kicks back in next. What the, what what on earth is Brick Kicks? I, it's a magazine. After, after that went off, uh, after that I'm gonna print, follow it up with Lego Mania, Lego Magazine, Brick Master Magazine, and now Lego Club Magazine. Plus issues of Lego Adventures and Roll Cup magazine, <laughs> Roll Cup magazine that I imported from Europe. Wow, this guy's obsessed with Legos. Oh my God. <laughs> I've got every Lego T-shirt from the '90s, even though none of them fit me now, including one awesome shirt that I got with some UFO. Land, uh, Land Rover for only five ninety nine. My wallet's so thin since crack is cheaper. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like a crack is cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm always the first to check to see if the if, if local Lego stores re receive the latest shipments of the Ultimate Collector Series Star Wars sets. Same as, uh, <laughs> some may say that the ripe age of 38, my life is a wreck. But that's the life of a Lego maniac. I'm questioning if he started around when he was a child, because that would explain more often. That would but... explain things a bit. Yeah, because I'm questioning how did he order eBay for that much cost. Now then, my turn. But let's talk about LEGO video games. When LEGO uh, first came out in 1997, my mind was blown. It was totally awesome, dude. And it was a 90, which meant if you could say totally awesome, dude, in public without people staring at you. Ever since then, I collected every LEGO game, plus any re-releases. This includes the title like Gator uh, and Biago the Game, which are total garbage, but I still play them anyway because they're LEGO. <laughs> he's, he's saying that a LEGO game is garbage? <laughs> <laughs> and even though TTK's latest title, the LEGO movie, the new game, is just another version of the LEGO Star Wars without any novelty or fun of the first hundred... Uh, first 500 versions. <laughs> first 500 oh versions God. of Lego Star Wars they released in the past two years. I still love it that I'm much of a Lego maniac, but sadly, there was one Le uh, Lego game I thought I was never able to enjoy again. Lego Universe. <laughs> I've never seen Lego Universe, nor have I seen any gameplay of it. I've never seen it on source shells. That is... Dude. That that is until one people day this past winter I was playing Lego movie video game on the PC checking out a cool Chico that unlocks Johnny Thunder, and wondering why he simply wasn't available from the start. 
because clearly everyone would want to play as him. It's always a mystery why he can't play as him unless you know a key code. I, oh my God, I'm 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 worried about whether to give I search up Johnny Thunder. I'm thankful I do not wish list that game on Steam. <laughs> <laughs> It was about one. It was about one fifty-three in the afternoon. I heard my grandmother screaming, "Zach, the mailman arrived two hours ago. Stop playing the game and making yourself useful, young man." Wait. Okay. Why? Hey, why does the time matter when the mailman uh, arrived? And is he living with his grandmother? Because he's old now. That's, I'm, I'm confused. That's sad. That's kind of sad, unless, like, he has, like, a legitimate reason, but then again, like, um, he's obsessed with, like, like he calls him, like, a maniac, which I wouldn't really work on calling yourself a maniac. Same thing with dork, nerd, whatever, but we're not talking about that. Fine, Grandma, you old backcutter, annoyed. I paused again and went outside to check the mail. As I brought it inside the house and put it down on the kitchen table, I was expecting another unemployment cat. Instead, much to my surprise, I found a CD and a note. Even though it was written very messily, as though the writer was in a hurry, I immediately recognized the handwriting and on the note as it belonged to my old friend and fellow Legomaniac Jack. Zack, I've had enough of this. I can't handle it anymore. It's too much for me. I had to get rid of this somehow, but instead of destroying it myself, or just selling it on eBay, I thought about giving it to you as a much better option. Please don't make don't make me regret the decision than by sending you. You uh, something stupid that would be in it, writing about it, some lame, overly cliched, creepy pasta. Oh my god, I'm gonna <laughs> read this part. Oh my god. Please, Zach. Please. Oh, go ahead. You have to destroy this disc. I cannot, for some poorly explained reasons. It's the only way. Do not play. Please, for the love of all that is holy, whatever you do, do not play. I trust you as a friend, Zach. Please don't make me feel like my trust is in play misplaced by going against what I'm telling you. Do not play it. Don't even think about playing it. Don't even think about not playing it. You can't let yourself be tempted. Even though it's, all, it's the only any functional copy of Legal Universe that still works offline. Okay, the, <laughs> that was just overly weird and just eh. I'm kind of confused why his friend said that. And, like, although the logic is impossible, unless, like, um, either, like, uh, someone buys it, like, if you guys know Disney's, um, to, uh, Toon World and other games that Disney had, um, yeah, like, someone has to buy it or, like, to do something with it. Because most companies, um, they will allow you to buy it. The thing is that, like, you gotta be agree to, like, rules and such. Like, let's say that you, like, um, let's say Claus bought, let's say Claus and I bought, um, a game that was no longer used, let's say by Disney. And these that we have to run it and we have to pay it out of our money or like we have to do like some way to like uh, fund us money to order to keep the game running. Because uh, copyright issues and then there's money issues and you gotta be careful of like copywriting and so much trouble. Over analysis warning. Yeah. You, you wanna take over from here? I won't get to take it from here. Oh wait, you're you were you said oh wow? Yeah. Like, oh. With that, I tossed aside the note and looked at the CD. It was blank and plain on appearance, even though the words "bomb exd" were all were, were scrawled in it with permanent black marker. I mean, recall that "bomb" a bomb was the name of the Le Lego Universe mascot, and that only reminded me how excited I was to play this game. I rushed back to the computer and immediately exited out of the Lego Movie video game. In my haste, I even forgot to save. Not that it mattered. Anyway, I took the disc for the Lego. Movie, uh, video game, and threw for the CD for Bob DXD. So quickly that I shattered into an impeachment in my assignment. So, uh, this opened the Lego, uh, verse patcher, then started downloading some new files for it, said it was ready to play. I played the game, it brought to me a manga, everything I just remembered. The music was, um, the music was by Brian Towler. The funny little animations with Nekness astronaut drag in the background and of course Bob himself. Stanley Cheerly and the login menu to welcome back me to this friendly uh, uh to this friendly verse. Can I can I take over from here? Sure. I typed in my Lego.com username and password and clicked the blue arrow to continue. The connecting to other authentic uh Authorization message popped up, and then for approximately 0 0.51 seconds, the game flashed up something very different, and I was somehow able to picture fight in an instant that it appeared. If you look at it here, there's a picture. Like, 
Totally not Photoshop, I swear. Lego Universe no longer looked polished and now rusted. The right bubbly clouds had vanished and a blue gray, blue garnet sky turned red. The blue trees on the horizon turned black and looked like they had been burned. Left, left to the beck and bark. The Nexus astronaut was lying on the floor and was no longer no longer right and resembled scorched earth of a volcano. And then the dragon stood and then the dragon stood over the vicious intent down to the bottom of the screen. It was no normally it says copyright two thousand. Wait 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 wait. Wasn't this wait, wasn't the game supposed to be like from the nineties or something? It's supposed to be from the nineties and then it got like I think it got like shut down because it couldn't make enough money or like. Like, because most games, like, it really depends. Like, if the game isn't popular anymore, or not a lot of players play it, or, like, it's not making enough of the funds, then, like, some companies will shut it down. Alright, now, as I said, Cover 2011, Lego Group, the year was replaced with 666, and there was blood. Hyper realistic blood. Blood on the logo, blood on the trees, blood on the Nexus astronaut, blood on the floor, blood dripping from the dragon's gnaw, blood on the blood, blood. <laughs> <laughs> May I take it here? Go ahead. <laughs> but the worst of all was Bob. He looked fairly normal, staring at me with a peril smile. But there was something horribly wrong about his normally covered smile. And there was blood dripping from his empty black eyes. But as I said, this was possibly zero fifty one seconds, so it didn't bother me. I just thought I imagined it. My therapist tells me I imagine things. He just doesn't understand. And all I need to do is just imagine. After that, I stayed on connecting to station screen about for ten uh for ten point three seconds before moving on to the character select screen. It's so always spot, specific. Uh, I'm like so shocked. To my surprise, oh my god, hold on, hold on, oh my god, okay, I was so scared. To my surprise, none of the characters displayed were my characters prior to like a uh closure said there are NPCs from the game. Not just any NPCs. They were Hailstorm, Vanna Darkflame, Duke Dexter, and Dr. Overbuild. <laughs> yeah, this guy is definitely obsessed. Yeah, like, he, it, yeah, he did say he was a Lego maniac after all. So yeah. he's beyond obsessed. In my excitement, I did not notice right away a few things that seemed wrong. In the background, there is normally a bunch of blue-footed blue stick figures flying around here. They were red-listed instead of appear to be missing their heads. There, pro there is probably some blood, too. The background music sounded like it was 50% slower and in reverse for some reason. I could swear that in some parts were reversed, almost sounded like a ticking of a clock. But I was sure that it wasn't symbolic or anything. I wasn't worried so if there was a few graphical or auditory glitches. I was going to play U Lego Universe again and I was going to play some Hailstorm or any other fiction uh, any, other, any other faction leaders. Without, without hesitation, I selected Hailstorm and paused the, uh, and pressed the blue arrow to continue. Or rather, I would have pressed the blue arrow but for some reason it was red. And when I clicked it, I could have sworn I heard some high pitched laughter in the background. It sounded like almost almost like etching an echoing version of Bob's laughter. The screen went black for for a loose estimate of nine point eight nine 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 point eight nine six seconds. <laughs> then the loading screen popped up and said that my destination was the Venture Explorer. Now the, uh, now this was the first time I thought something was odd. Uh, was Hailstorm Severe really on the tutorial level of the game? Uh, I also noticed that the Venture Explorer's artwork depicted some, the spaceship uh, looking even more wrecked than I remembered it. I just assumed that this is one of the uh, those new files that I downloaded. Probably some hyper-realistic graphics. Next update that was never released thanks to Lego's Universe's cancellation.
When, uh, when House Stern spawned on the Adventure Explorer, the first thing I noticed that the Adventure Explorer interior was simply more wrecked than I remember it. With the entire place of the walkway and two of into, into pieces, nearby paws of sleeping minifigures and spend animation were cracked open. Minifigures inside remained lifeless. At first, Jenny Moonshot was nowhere to be uh, to be seen, but then I found his body smashed into pieces in a pool of blood. It has to be that suspicious. fucking blood. There were more suspicious pools of blood coating around the world. I'm not sure what the music is, but like where it sounded like it was played reversed at 50% speed. I made my way to the Venture Explorer Bridge, where Bob was waiting for me. Like I said, his face was locked in a pyramidal grin with blood dripping from his eyes. He popped one arm out of his socket away at me. I remember it being a little cute animation in the Ven of like of Lego of Lego Island. But now when when Bob popped his ar arm out, a fountain of blood encrypted from his open <laughs> open socket with a matter of rivet of the Dark Knight from Moth and Canis. What is- what is this? I don't even know. The <laughs> game indicated that Bob had a mission for me. I arrived in receptive mission's dialogue was simply, Hey kid, do you want to use your imagination? <laughs> I don't remember this was the eye off in the game, but I shrugged it off. Why would he I afraid? It was only a video game. The mission was to collect six imagination orbs from nearby pistons, just as I remembered it. <laughs> Despite the horribly rigged status of the ship, the pistons were still functional, and I was still able to grab five of the orbs of these. However, upon grabbing the sixth orb, Bob's face started flashing on the screen. The game started lagging horribly, as if the prim as if the prim it looked not <laughs> positive. I took, I took a nosedive. <laughs> this, uh, th th this caused me to miss a jump, and hey, he else and Hailstorm promptly fell into the roaring of the ship, where he was horribly electrocuted. I was seething. That's cheap! I yelled at the computer. I did it because of lag. The, sm <laughs> the smash popped up, appeared, and it was different. Instead of Bob, it depicted Hailstorm with gratuitous amounts of blood pouring from his m his mutilated body. The word smash was replaced with dead. First of all, the rebuild option was not available. This especially irritated me because I thought the game was glitched and I would restart and have to close the pop-up. Which I, which I already had to do enough times in beta, in beta testing, but I wasn't particularly he he eager to eager to relieve those memories. Fortunately, after about oh god seven point four two five nine seconds, the screen <laughs> cut to black. Oh Bob's laugh <laughs> echoing in the background. Then approximately ten. Point two six five one seconds later, the game returned to the character's leg screen. <laughs> oh my God, I, just the numbers. I, uh, I like how oddly specific these times are. Like it's like he has a stopwatch on hand. I know. <laughs> Hellstorm's minifigure was di was disoriented of color. <clears throat> He was no he no longer had his cocky expression and now looked depressed. There was blood dripping from his eyes, just like Bob. But more importantly, he could not be selected as a play as a player character. I tried several minutes but failed. I decided to try another character, Vanda Dark Flame. Then again, I clicked the red arrow to continue boss love was heard as this green turned to black for a rough estimate of nine not uh a nine point nine five three seven two six seconds my loading screen popped up this time my destination was grant uh, uh grant gardens then uh, darkly spearing on the directed paradox of uh, uh, search for jelly dark and signature music was playing once again in reverse and played at 50 at 50 speed better guarding was not as remember it the trees were bare and dead. The ground was burned away to reveal scorched earth underneath. So no birds, no birds singing. The ground was littered with skeletons wearing uh, wearing pink pants, lying in pools of blood. <laughs> I went to find Whipsley, expecting that you'd give me a message to find the other uh, uh, Star Trek. Oh, no, Instead, Whipsley was 
covered in bandages, or rather more than bandages as usual. He was wrapped in bandage, uh, bandages uh, to head to toe like a mummy. His bandages look later also stained with blood. Wesley honestly uh, did not offer mission, but a rubble dialogue appeared over said, <laughs> I guess being covered in bandages would do that to you. <laughs> I, I ran to the area outpo outpost, expecting to find a pulling that cracker. Said I found Bob again, gritting with blood tripping out of his eyes, as now it's given the norm. He had a mission accompanied by dialogue. Call your pups and nail. Well, they won't help you. Wait, a paradox, isn't it? This made so ne no sense, so he ignored it. <laughs> the mission was to build a satellite beacon to call in a, a call in the Senate. Yeah. Uh, fight airstrike. I found one for the of uh, the quick build. It was finally quickly and assembled it. Uh, the satellite beacon made an unusual sound, like an 8-bit version of Bob's laugh. Moments later, I heard a familiar sound of a uh, sentinel flight zooming overhead. However, instead of aiming for the nearby storm, your stormlings and storming mech. A like sentinel of life boomed around a uh, bombed Venda Dark uh, Venda Dark Flame and said she screamed as as she was consumed by the explosion. And when the dust settled, there was no, uh, there was nothing but a pool of blood where she once said Boss face flashed on screen for nearly zero point three one four one five nine two six seconds when this happened. Oh come on, I griped. Oh <laughs> Do you really expect me to buy that? Smash popped up. Uh, a pop up appeared, as it just did with dead text and lots of blood. However, this time it was in a dark flame, depicted in the pop up instead of hailstorm. Just as before, there was no option to rebuild, and I had to rate roughly 6.738593727 seconds before the screen. He cut to Bob's <laughs> slap echoing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. About 10.29485715 seconds later. Oh my god. <laughs> I was back at the character select screen. Like Hale Venetark Flames minifigure was, was disoriented, depressed, and crying blood. He wasn't playable anymore either. So I'm moving on to the next character. Duke X tier. <laughs> my God, this all this blood in the, in specific oh timestamps. I know, and then I don't like the numbers because like it's like he's obsessed with numbers. I'm not sure if it's like a habit or like I don't know. I click on the red arrow container. Bob laughed. The screen was cut to black for nearly ten point zero four eight six seven three <laughs> nine seven seconds. <laughs> The lonely screen dedicated that I was going back to Ever Guardians. This time, Duke and her spawned in the Adele base camp. The background sounded like it might have been calm and relaxing, it was playing normally. Instead, it sounded obnoxious for boring due to being slowed down and played in reverse like the other songs. Well, most of the science action members were being dismembered and lying, pool, uh, lying pools of blood, which caked the ground and walls of camp. The same, I didn't want to. Go ahead. This, this guy's a freaking genius if he's able to po post up these exact specific time stamps. I agree. <clears throat> Turning around, I noticed Bob, Blood, and all standing in Beck Hart's place. Once again, he had a mission for me, and I was getting tired of this pattern since I had nothing better to do, I gradually accepted. His mission I, I, uh, dialogue was simply, You cannot survive forever now, you know. The mission was survived six minutes and sixty six seconds and every uh, every Of course, was, there's uh, that six six six. Yeah. And we're all started. It sounded like your old old chalice to me, who previously held the storm record for surviving twenty four uh twenty eight and thirty mi and thirty minutes and twenty five seconds with nothing more than a few Say boxes it. of pizza, a carton of chocolate milk, and a adult diaper. <laughs> what? <laughs> and don't you mean seventy eight hours, thirty five minutes and twenty five seconds? Yes, thank you. I started the uh, the arrival arrival. Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I started the survival instant. Duke's enter responded about. However, initiation boss face was slashed on screen about 
about zero nine three seven eight six nine three eight nine three eight seconds. Suddenly, Duke was overwhelmed by impossibly an impossible large horde of dark smilings that killed him in the Hey. Hey. Oh god, Andrew. Go ahead. Hey, no fair! Yelled at the computer screen. That's clearly hacking. The alerted smashed screen popped up again. This time, it was staring Duke Exeter, and was re and was really starting to lose lose its novelty and become and become more of an annoyance than anything. The screen cut to black with Bob's laugh echoing in the background, which was seriously starting to grate on my nerves. Zack! I regard my Leo from the arm. Take a break from that game. It's time for your nap. You you you, you want to voice the grandma? Yeah. Oh come on, grandma! I got it back. I'm 38 years old. I don't need a nap. Young man, she's he, called in. He's called in. So as long as you live under my roof, you live under my rules, and it's time for your nap. <laughs> Knowing is what knowing it wasn't worth arguing since I always lose arguments against my grandmother anyways. I gra I I grumbled to myself and shut down Bob to EXE, got up from my computer, and walked two feet to the couch and lie down upon it. I stood in the vo void, freezing cold and picked black at first. There was deferring silence. But then I heard voices crying out in terror. I turned and it was as hard to see Hellstorm, then a dark flame, and Duke Exter standing before me. They were all drained of co of color, save for the bright red blood gushing from their empty black eyes. They reached out for me, wailing in pain and agony. I was powerless to help them. And then I heard an all too familiar laugh. I turned around slowly to see Bob. He grinned satisfi- he grinned satis- statistically. His empty eyes is moving into his soul with hyper-realistic blood staying down his face and he spoke with a voice. It sounded like a grinding of bone. Don't you see how much fun it is to use your imagination? I was too terrified to reply. I couldn't even run. Yes, Zack, you are at my mercy now. It won't be long before... Wait, what? I noticed Bob was confused about something. So I turned around, and much to my surprise, I saw Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> and I thought of Gordon Livot. DiCaprio raises as an independent man. Don't mind us, he insisted. <laughs> we're not really here. <laughs> I promised. I, I promise we're not trying to perform inception or anything like that. We're just ordinary projections of your subconscious. Just clearly <laughs> and pretend we don't exist. <laughs> oh my god, what? Yeah, you do exist. Shut up. That's just me. Excuse me! Growled Bob. I'm trying to be super creepy right now. You guys are ruining the spooky atmosphere. <laughs> but it was too late. I realized Bob had no power over me. It was all just a dream. When you know when you're dreaming, you can take the dream any direction you want. A lonely potato scream, spooky theory. I don't know. With a slight chuckle, I saw my fingers and Bob turned a potato. Then it took off in flight like Superman with all sorts of sadly psych psych. Kitty dreams on adventure of full pink elephant, shape shifting dragons, an elderly dimensional ruler who believe in literal blind justice. I call people who, who were accidentally worship and kitty, a bunch of uh, ghosts arguing whose house they're haunting, some mysterious McGeeblins who, who were backing up um, sewage pipes, a Lego store that had every Lego set, including the ones that didn't exist. They always smelled rust for some reason. Everything was awesome. Hold and on. Co hold, and hold on. Mm -hmm. how, how can how can one own something that doesn't exist? Yeah, I don't know. It's like owning a Nintendo NX before it even came out. <laughs> and some or uh, some corner of the of the of the screen of the uh, dreamscape, a lonely a lonely potato scream. Curse you, Leonardo! <laughs> I woke up from my nap several hours.
hours later. Wow, I thought that, that was pointless. Then, nothing ever happened. I got off the couch and returned uh, to the computer and continued playing Bob EXD. Why? Bob that, Bob that EXE. Why did you play Bob dot EXE? Why? Oh my god, no. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Just like he appeared in my dream, do extra was depressed, dis, uh, dis, uh, distrained, and crying blood. He was no longer playable either. I could tell there is n there there is a predictable pattern forming, but se but since I was born and had nothing better to do, I decided to select the final playable character, Doctor Overbuild. As I expected, clicking on the red arrow you know, caused Bob to laugh, and the screen cut to black for about oh my god, nine point seven nine zero oh, three five eight. Three, four, nine, six, one seconds. Once again, <laughs> the destination was Event Gardens. Dr. Overfield spawned at the base of the as assembly moment. At uh, monument, excuse me. The monument appeared to be on the verge of collapse, and it didn't look very well maintained compared to the normal appearance. And it also, and it was also covered, covered with dead birds and blood. Rust, uh, Rusty's saddle was horribly maimed and lying in a pool of blood. <laughs> by, the, by this it's point... It's like blood and blood. Uh, I'm like, oh my god. So Is there no entities? Go ahead. I was so used to seeing this sort of imagery, but this completely desensitized the background music. It was played at 50% speed and in reverse. Which by now was n was nothing new. Essentially, anything that might have been midly <laughs> unnerving in the first five minutes is just boring and refresh and refreshed formula. As I expe as I expected, it was Bob who stood who stood where Rusty would normally stand, offering a mission. This time, although Bob was still. Still grinning and still had blood dripping from his eyes, his demeanor seemed a little angrier than before. I guess he wanted revenge for being turned into a potato in my dream. When I interacted with him, his mission said, "His mission sex simply said, you cannot beat me." You cannot beat me. Okay, hold on, now, hold on, now, hold on. I'm going down. I am, which is we're eating. The mission was to send you a uh, monument and reach the finish line. Based on this dialogue, I have expected you to erase me. After selecting the mission, Bob just stood idly in place, so I left him at the starting gate. From experience, I know I knew that the yellow pass was, a, uh, was the passes. I took that. Unfortunately, the game started lagging, causing me to fall through the elevator build several times, which was really annoying, annoying, but at least it didn't, it didn't lead to an insta kill like it did for Hailstorm. On my fourth try, I managed to ride an elevator while falling through and used a jump pad to bounce to, uh, to the monument finish line. Once again, the finish line was unprocified. I thought I might actually complete the mission for once, but less than zero, four, nine, eight, six, seven, three, nine, five. Seven, one, two, three. Excited and four, I reached the finish line. Bob's face was flashed on screen again. Then again, said he teleported to the finish line. Doctor Overbill was too slow and lost away. So the consequence of reveal were Overbill smashed. His pieces fell into the pool of blood. I was perplexed. Go ahead. <laughs> I was perplexed. Um, really? Overbill dies because he lost his race. Lost the race. That has to be the lamest and cheapest death so far. The alerted smashed. Popped up with blood appeared as expected. Doctor Revealed was the, was the unfortunate subject depicted as expected. The screen cut black as expected. Okay, can we just get this over with? I grumbled. I tried. I tried off the pattern at this by this point, where where there was no more surprises. Just rehashing the same tricks over and over. Then, after a loss, a loose estimate of 
15.314928693042 seconds. The screen changed to the most unpleasant image. The image showed a hyper realistic version of Bob standing in the void made of the, <coughs> the maelstrom. <coughs> See me. Okay. It was so hyper realistic you can make out every wrinkle of his yellow skin and every <coughs> every crease he's enfolded on his red shirt. On the pro the proportions of a Lego minifigure, this hyper realism fell straight into territory in an uncanny valley. And his, his face. face. Okay. You can take over from here. His wide and empty uh, pitch black hyper realistic eyes with the hyper realistic blood gushing out of them. They're staring right into me. <laughs> right through the fourth wall of the game. He grinned like hyper realistic psychotic murder with the edges uh, uh, with the edges of hyper realistic lips stretching past his hyper realistic skull, revealing a crooked hyper realistic teeth, testing and a hyper realistic uh, void of black emptiness. His realistic teeth were freshly caked with hyper Blood. I can do nothing but scare at this gruesome image for possibly. Oh my god! <laughs> Three zero point two eight five nine three eight five seven one nine three eight five seconds. Then Bob Lab echoed in the background. Horrible oh and demonic text appeared in the super and most image. I am Bob. <laughs> I was too shocked to speak and simply stared at the message in horror. Only now did I realize what a complete and utter waste of time this was. As soon as I found my voice, I made sure Bob knew it. Really? Really? You are Bob? Gee, I never would have guessed. Thanks, Captain Obvious. You saved the day. <laughs> what was the point of this? I just wasted all this time and sat through all that all that blood just so Bob could go on a quest of self discovery. Maybe he should have said I am blood instead. Now that would have made more more sense given this game's obsession with blood. Man, this was stupid. What was I thinking? What a load of mega block. <laughs> That's it. I've had it. I'm going to smash the CD into pieces so that. You can change his message to "I am dead." Now, would that be a big surprise, either? Oh my god! <laughs> I was kicked back to the character select screen by the time I finished ranting, though I could have sworn that Bob's expression turned rather discredited. Guess before the screen <clears throat> changed, Doctor Overville now joined the other Nexus Force faction. Leaders in the disorder in crying blood. Just uh, and I just thought that this time the game looked mildly annoyed rather than depressed, as, as though to were it's incredulous. I think it's it's of other it is a utter stupidity. Of this game. Just imagine. This is scary, right? Then it turned out that I didn't need to shut the game off myself. Um, you, computers... you, you, you skipped over a block of text. I did? Yes. Well, right. I, I, put, I put just imagine, because... And I said it's scary, right? Because, like, this is all copy and paste. So I'm not using my computer, because... I'm not using the uh, browser, because it's lacking. What is it? Mm. Then, it turned out to be... Then it turned out that I didn't shut, shut the game off myself. Because the computer... Your spontaneity shot up on its own. I couldn't, I couldn't turn it, I couldn't turn it back on. So I started muttering curses under my breath, because now I'm pretty sure this game is so bad that it broke my computer. I turned around and pulled up my cell phone to call a local computer repair shop. Then I heard a voice right behind me, breathing barely louder than a whisper. Just imagine!
<laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead. I, um, I turned around to see where the voice came from and what I saw. Standing on my computer desk, staring right at me, was a Bob mini figurine, smiling with blood under its eyes. I just imagine, I'm just imagining how much money I can make by, um, autic, uh, and, uh, I can auction by making it off of eBay. Of, of eBay. You know what, I'm gonna be really honest here, I'm gonna bet it's one cent, and a, a roll of credits. Alright, well, that was Bob.exe, and believe it or not, there is a sequel. Should we um, get to that, we'll be doing that in another video, but, um, your thoughts on this masterpiece of a uh, troll pasta? No. Okay. I think we should, so, like, uh, okay, so, so, um, everyone, this is, uh, Claude, and this is me now. Mm, I mean, not, this, this, this is, this is, this is, this is, go ahead. Not anything off right yet. Um, what's, what's your final thought on, on the um, troll pasta before anything's off? Uh, my final thoughts on the troll pasta, I gotta say, this is, like, the most stupidest, <laughs> um, um, uh, troll pasta I ever read. This is actually my first one, actually. I heard of it, but I never got read any stories because, like, eh, I don't know, like, troll pasta did not appeal to me because I had friends who were, who were like, legitly fangirls of it, so I was like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna stay away now. Alright. This, hey, this troll pasta, the real gem of it was the, um, specific timestamps. I, I, oh my god. That was the exact. Like, my goodness, just stop. Although, I did find a little bit of issue with this troll pasta's, um, overly obsession with the gratuitous amounts of blood. Yeah, because the thing that I keep, um, seeing is that, okay, so, well, one of the things I keep seeing is usually, uh, they keep capitalizing blood often. Like, just straight up blood. Blood. It was hyper-realistic. Blood in the title, blood on the trees, blood on the blood. Uh, the, this, this troll pasta was a good source of lulls. Yeah. Okay, now, personally, I, I would rate this a, um, Mega Blocks out of a Lego sets, three Lego sets, and six out of ten... Point two eight three five four two six 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 eight five two. I rate this out of ten out of ten. Out of everything like the person bought. No, seriously, this is like so crazy. Like, oh my god. <laughs> it's completely nuts, that's for sure. But anyway, um with all that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this Toro Pasta. If you did, be sure to leave a like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Until then, this has been Klaus. And this is this is Minty Hearts. See you guys next time. Peace out. Peace out.